Hey, it's Greg from His Dolls, and today we're talking Barbie. All my life I've been trying, trying to be me. Okay, so like I said, we're looking at Barbie. Um, this is actually going to be the first Barbie I think we've actually, I've ever reviewed on this channel. Um, so I think it's perfect that we're starting with this one. Um, as you can see, this is the Barbie movie Barbie, um, the Margot Robbie uh, Perfect Day uh barbie um she's up on amazon she is now i think uh it's going up and down but like a bunch of the barbies came out june 1st which was yesterday um and after getting the link from my friend alex rose again shout out um i bought this doll immediately and it was available for overnight um free with my amazon prime so i got her overnight and woke up to her this morning so i'm so excited to get her open with you guys um talk about how i'm excited for the barbie movie and everything so for starters we have here her face and her bangs and her face has been controversial but i've always kind of liked it i always thought it was kind of cute um the first images i was a little scared i'm not gonna lie but it was also i was fully aware it was like a very bad angle also i feel like this lighting is sorry it's like weird lighting right now right um I knew it was like a weird angle to have the photo taken at so I was a little worried but I was like I'm sure it'll be fine and after seeing her in person she's very cute um but she comes with this one outfit she was $25 um free shipping which was nice uh as you can see mine is fully missing an earring um I did email someone at Mattel about that I don't know if they're gonna get me a new one I was offered a refund or to ship it back but honestly, I want her now, so I would rather lose an earring than have to wait possibly a couple more days in order to have her. So my impatience is I'm going to go ahead and open her, even though she's fully missing an earring. Um, but this is her in her box. You can see the dream house in the background from the movie. Um, this very uh, kind of like nostalgic uh, Barbie the movie uh, text and everything. Um, it This isn't nostalgic to the Barbie that I grew up seeing. Um because I was born in 95 so it was more of like the early 2000s Barbie is what I think of as like my Barbie the Barbie that I love um, but I still think it's absolutely stunning then here on the side we have another image of the house Barbie movie the Barbie heart then on the back we have Margot Robbie and it says greetings from Barbie land wishing wishing you the best day ever um, I've watched the trailer. I am so excited about the movie. It looks so good and so funny. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers, but it looks really good. Then down here we have Mattel Barbie. Down here, it's like the hearts are switched from this side, but it's the same photos and Barbie the movie. The bottom's absolutely nothing, and top you can just see inside. So it's a very simple box, but I'm very excited to get this Barbie out. Um, so I have not done any Barbie videos on my channel. I have nothing against Barbie. I do think she is like the one who started it all. I find her very iconic, but the Barbies here as of recent, I haven't been too big of a fan with, I'm just cutting the tape at the top. Um, because I, ooh, I'm someone who likes it when Barbie was like the it girl, like the hyper femme 2000s, pink everything, like that's the barbie that i enjoy so the i love that the she's just like you and diversity it's absolutely incredible i love it so much i just wish we could have both barbies like we have the relatable barbie but we also have like the pink iconic barbie like why can't they both exist at the same time you know um so i haven't collected any barbies because uh she just hasn't spoken to me it's recent i was able to just like pull her right out the box is so cool. I don't know. It's just like such a classic. Like if someone said draw a Barbie box, like I feel like this is exactly the type of thing they'd picture. Uh, we'll just set that back there. Um, here she is already. So cute. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been collecting Barbie. The closest I ever came was there was the Barbie extra fancy one who was in like that pink kind of like latex gown. She was stunning. But another thing is I do not like the millie face mold i'm not a fan of it whatsoever the closed millie mouth is fine but like just the standard millie face they use i do not like that face mold so i loved everything about that barbie except for her face and the millie face mold is the like standard barbie face right now 
Um, so I haven't, I don't know. It just hasn't called to me. The quality of Barbie like doesn't compare when you have like rainbow high and stuff. So I just haven't been partaking really in uh, Barbie collecting, but the Barbie movie dolls look so good. I really love them um, from all the ones we've seen leaked so far. I really, really like basically all of them, honestly. One I personally would love to get my hands on is there's a Barbie in like a blue plaid um, kind of suit, like pastel. Um, plaid suit, yeah. A pastel plaid suit. And she looks so cute in her hat and everything. But other than this Barbie, all the dolls are $50. And they just come with one outfit and a stand. And this doll does not come with a stand, which is horrible, in my opinion. Like, I really wish she did. But that's a lot of money. Like, I wanted to get the whole Barbie movie collection. Well, not the whole collection, maybe. But, like, may maybe, like, all the Barbie ones. I'm not too interested in collecting, I don't think, the Kins or some of the side characters. But I really was interested in all the Barbies. Like, the Western Barbie, the gold sequin barbie the plaid one that i didn't even know was going to be one i love her um so i like all of them but 50 dollars, like just those three is 150 dollars. that is a lot of money for just a one outfit barbie so i'm not sure maybe i'll wait for them to go on sale or something like that i might get one of them and the wait on the rest i don't know and there's also still a couple outfits that I've seen from the um, trailer that I was hoping was going to get an outfit. Like, specifically, there's a, the scene in the trailer where she's driving the car. And she has, like, a beret and, like, this really pastel pink, uh, like, short dress. Well, you can't tell the length of it, but you can see, like, the skirt fluffing out in the seat and everything. I really wanted that one as a doll. And we haven't seen anything for it yet, so we're probably not going to. But that's definitely one I'd like. They have her in here very well. She has, like, all these plastic ties. Um, but I do love this one. But one thing I think this one's missing that I think would have really helped is going back to the blue plaid one. Can you tell I think about that doll a lot? The blue plaid one seems to have, like, um, what do you call it? It has, like, white tulle underneath the dress to, like, fluff it out. I think this doll would have really benefited from having something like that. Um, because in the movie, like, in the trailer again, you see that she has, like, some type of, like, white tool. I don't know the correct term for it. Is it crinoline or something? Um, she does have that. Um, so, I think that's something she really would have benefited from having. But I still think it works because the material they used is keeping its shape really well. I'm trying to, like, her hair is, like, sewn in with thread. Uh, wow, it is sewn in hardcore. I'll show you. So I've gotten her all out except her hair. Do you see how it's sewn in and like wefts? And it doesn't just pull out, so you have to cut all that thread. And I can tell, um, again, other people have already reported this, but also by touching it. From my recent uh, Monster High doll, I can tell she has the same hair fiber as that Draculaura, which was Saran. It feels exactly the same. There we go. And she is out. You can see some of the dream house in the background there. And here is the Barbie. So I want to get these pegs out of the back of her head. Okay, so yeah, here we are. We have her out. Honestly, her hair from the ones I've seen, I think mine has like nicer hair than most. Like a lot of them that I've, I've seen people unbox already and photograph they have really crazy box hair and i thought i was gonna have to like boil wash and do all these things but mine looks pretty nice already like pretty full nice like little curl to it but i was thinking to give her a different hairstyle so um she does need a little trimming like that hair is very long so let me go ahead and do that just add that to the trash so, yeah, she is so cute. I'm sorry, like, I'm not even showing her to you guys because I'm just, like, taking her in right now. Um, so let's go ahead and start looking at her. So here she is. I feel like the lighting is so weird. Let's see if I can 
move this. I don't know, the lighting's intense. Um, but this is the Margot Robbie face sculpt. I think it's really nice. And a lot of people say that it's better without the bangs, which I think it looks a lot more like Margot Robbie without the bangs, but I actually really like the bangs on the doll. Um, I don't have any problems with it. I think it's very like, it gives me like classic Barbie. Um, not necessarily this outfit because in the outfit she has like kind of like curtain bangs, but I still think it's super cute. Um, she has this white necklace with like little flowers and pink painted details. Then she's supposed to have two earrings with the exact same thing, but mine is again missing an earring. And the earrings do come out. I saw some one person say that like um, they were unable to remove the earrings, um, but mine come out just fine. So there we go. Then she has this dress. Now the dress material, it is like that cheaper material you see often with Barbie now, but I think it's okay in this situation. Like I have no problems with it because it like perfectly keeps the shape and the look that you want from this like outfit. So I have no complaints with the material in this. Um, she feels kind of different. She's a little light, um, but I wouldn't say much different than a typical Barbie, I guess. I haven't held a Barbie in a bit, but like from what I remember about the same type of weight, um, she does have articulation at the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist and then full 360 motion in the head. And, you know, she can reach her face and stuff like that. Put her hand on her hip. Um, it's super cute. I really like this dress. And then also she has a bracelet that matches the earrings and I should just start saying earring. The earrings and the um, necklace. And the last thing to show off is her shoes. Now, another thing I noticed a lot of people have, their heels were bent. Mine is a little bent here, but theirs were bent inward but I think it's honestly fine. Like it seems to already be setting itself back to normal. So I'm happy I didn't have that issue. Um, and it's cute little pink shoes. And then they have like a little pink heart on the top. So yeah, that's like the entire Barbie. Very simple, but I really like her. She is super cute. Her hair is nice quality. Um, it's no crazy box hair, anything like that, which I'm really surprised by. Like, I think that looks really nice. But what I think I want to do See, I'm kind of like uh, thrown off because I was fully intending to uh, wash her hair and everything, but now I don't need to. And I'm wondering if I even want to restyle her hair now, because what I was thinking to do was to undo her hair and then put it up into like a high ponytail for like a classic kind of like, again, it wouldn't be a match for the outfit. But if I put it up into a high pony and then boil wash the back, I think it could be super cute. But also, it just looks really nice like this. So maybe, am I done? I mean, again, I need to take this earring out. It is throwing me off. I honestly think I might be done right here just because she looks so good. Hmm. Okay, so I was just going to keep her hair the same, um, but I changed my mind. So I'm going to try just washing her hair and restyling it a bit. And then I'm gonna try taming these bangs. Also the end of her hair is a little kind of like frizzy. So I'm hoping maybe um, this conditioner and a boil wash might help. We'll see. I don't think it's gonna help the frizziness, but I do think uh, this will make her hair look nice in general. So I'm gonna do that off camera, honestly, cause like I, getting the setup in the bathroom is so much. So. You're not going to see that on camera. I need to take this off, actually. I don't want to lose it while trying to wash her. But um, I'm not worried about the necklace. It's, like, rubber banded on. But, yeah, so I'm going to be... Okay, she's ready. I'm going to give her her spa day. Okay, so it's been, like, two days since the last clip. And I decided to do this on camera. So we still have this on. Her little cling wrap head wrap that I did. And I poked little needles in to keep it in place. Um, we don't know how this is going to turn out. So... I'm gonna take it off camera and we're gonna find out together. So, and the only thing I had on her bangs was like a generous, or generous amount of conditioner. I would have used hair gel. That's what I typically do is the hair gel I use on my hair, but I was out of hair gel. So I was like, let's see if we do it with conditioner. If it doesn't work out, then I can redo it because I do have hair gel again now. 
I'm, I realize I'm doing this like fully off camera. Okay. Now we will unwrap. I guess I'll face her to the camera. Also, you can see her ponytail came out really nice. I really like the ponytail. It's super cute. But what we're really worried about here is the bangs. So. And. You know what? I think it's really cute. Um, I'm definitely going to go in and trim it up some because it's a little like a little too long. Um, so I'll probably go in and actually trim up the bangs a bit but i think she's super cute this is literally exactly what i was going for like i said because the bangs that she has um they rooted here there is no possible way to get like a good looking curtain bangs like what she has in the movie i've seen a couple people try and everybody is just like yeah it's not gonna work so i wanted to just go for like a i don't know like a whole kind of 50s look and i think i said it earlier but you can see i have the um, bow that was on top of her head put back with a ponytail now so I just wanted like you know like a cute little like kind of classic Barbie like bangs with a high ponytail and I think feel like it goes so well with the aesthetic of like this dress and everything so again this isn't an exact representation of what we have in the movie but I think it's super cute now again I am still down to one earring I did look through the box and the trash and everything I wasn't able to find another one. As much as I'd love to have both, I actually did realize, um, I'm gonna have to work with it a little bit, but these little pearl pins I have, I actually really like them as earrings. So if I put it in there, I'm not gonna like fiddle with it too much now, I'll do it off camera. I just wanna get it like in there so you can see what I'm saying. Put it in there. Like, I think that's super cute. And it also calls back to the pearl up here, which I think is nice. But yeah, so this is my finished version of the Perfect Day uh, Barbie. Uh, Barbie movie Barbie. Um, I love her so much. She is just so, so cute. Um, I'm really going to enjoy doing some photos with her. I probably will off camera um, cut the trim the bangs up a little bit because I think they're a little too long, especially like the end pieces like this right here. You can see it's literally on her like eye but i think it's super cute and i really like it like i really really like this she's just adorable like look at her like i feel like if someone was like draw a classic barbie they draw something similar to this you know um so yeah i'm very happy with her and while the rainbow high stand is not a first pick i don't love that I'd love to have a Barbie stand, but this is literally the first Barbie in my adult collection. Um, so I have no Barbie stands to put on her. So I'm going to have to get a stand or something. But this is her. She is so freaking cute. I love her so much. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Because uh, uh, basically, um, I'd like to say that I do think this is a great doll. Again, the material is not super great and uh, of the dress. The hair is a little frizzy and frazzled, but I think she's super cute and I really like her and I definitely say I can recommend her. Like if you want like a Barbie Barbie, like a Barbie that just screams Barbie in your collection, I think she's great. And especially anyone who's like excited for the upcoming movie. Um, comment down below uh, what you guys think. Like. Do you like this restyle that I did of her or do you like the classic style more? It's not going to hurt my feelings if you like the classic one more. I think the classic one's cute, but I'm really excited about this. Um, let me know if you're getting any of the Barbies and if you think I should go for one of the $50 Barbies because I'm so tempted. Like, I'm still thinking about that pastel suit, but also the cowgirl one just seems iconic. Like, it's going to be one of those things that people reference for years. So I really kind of want to get her too. Um, but I don't know, $50 is just a lot for a doll with one outfit and a stand. So, especially with, like, again, I love this doll, but this quality, if it's similar, like, material quality on those, I'd be really disappointed paying $50. Because, like, I've paid for some expensive Rainbow High dolls um, with just one outfit, but the outfit quality is never an issue um, with Rainbow High for me personally. Like, I always like the quality of the outfit. I a lot of times want more, but like I never complain about the quality of the outfit. So that is something that I'm a little hesitant about 
as for getting one of the $50 dolls. But again, let me know if you're getting any and what you think of my restyle. And as always, my Instagram will be tagged down below. It's his.dolls on Instagram. And that's where you can see photos of my collection as well of this doll that I reviewed today. And yeah, I guess that's everything. I hope everyone's enjoying this whole like new Barbie era moment. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And who knows, maybe I'll be a Barbie guy now. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.